So the beta is over, but that's not to worry. I have a little bit of footage left to show you here, guys. This is going to be me customizing the Ford Mustang GT 2011 model for the main reason that I haven't really covered it before. I've never really driven it in videos, which is a shame because I should have showed you some driving. But we did manage to get the customization here, and that's what I want to show you. I'm pretty sure you guys could be able to drive for yourselves if you go for this option. So in street spec, this instantly converts this car into an absolute monster. It really, really does. I'm not normally a fan of the bumper and well, the design overall of this car, but I'm actually able to make it look like something that I would, would really, really like to drive once I actually customize it. So what I did is I went with one of the end bumpers, which looks absolutely awesome. That makes it kind of look like a more up-to-date car. It looks much more uh, modern and it's not as scary looking, but that's just my design style. You may like how it is stock and you can keep it pretty much as it is stock, which is what's awesome about the crew. My Mustang GT 2011 is going to be completely different to yours. Well, maybe exactly the same because, you know, you might have some awesome taste or something. <laughs> so as for the rear bumper, I actually removed the back panel that you see, the rigid panel in the back. I wasn't a massive fan of it. As for the side skirts, I basically went with the first option, which removed a bit of a shine that looks pretty much similar. And as for the rims, we don't actually get all the options here, but do know in the crew, if you're new to the crew, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of options for rims, seriously. These are just the manufacturer rims. I don't know why I said manufacturer really, really weirdly there. And as for the spoilers, people are going to hate me for this, but I went with the big, beautiful spoiler because I absolutely love my spoilers, especially on the crew. Now, as for the bonnet, I went with something pretty damn awesome. Normally, I'd actually go with the carbon bonnets, but recently I've been standing back from carbon bonnets a bit, trying to try a new, uh, few things. But this kind of com uh, combined my ability to love a different color bonnet along with having the same color at the same time because the, the air intake at the top is it black and the rest of it's going to be the same color as the car. As for the car, I went for a silvery whitey color because, well, I don't usually go for those because I kind of have a rule. I need to try and find a color that suits the car that isn't black or white because I'll end up with every car being black or white. In this game, I have yet to really make a white car other than my 370Z, so I thought, why not? And obviously have an offset racing stripe. It's a go faster stripe. It looks awesome. I love it. Okay, don't judge me. Anyway. So that is pretty much all I've got for the customization externally. Interior wise, we've actually got something that I don't normally do. Now on the dashboard, you can actually change the color of the dashboard in the car, which as I said, isn't something I normally do. But in this car, I actually thought, you know what, we're gonna change it to white to kind of match what the car looks like. And honestly, when you take it outside, it looks a million times better than it does inside the shop. And that's what I like, I mean, Normally it looks a bit odd if you make a red dashboard, it's a little bit weird, but I guess if you like that, and obviously if your car is red, it might look really, really awesome if you take it out in the same colour dashboard-wise. Anyway, that is going to wrap up with this video. As I said, it's going to be a short one. Apologies that I don't have any footage of me driving the car, but uh, hopefully this was enough. If you're going to pick up the car yourself, you can drive it and see how it is. Until next time, peace.